Hey everyone, my name's Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number two of the PCL. And uh, this is going to be a super interesting matchup. And we're going up against uh, the Commissioner, Garchomp the God. We have played him once before. And uh, we handled ourselves pretty well. He had a Tapu Lele, which was incredibly scary. But uh, we came out with that one with a win. This is going to be a really interesting matchup. I don't like our matchup at all. But uh, I do have a few things that can hit manage his team. I don't know. I don't know. I'm most scared about his Zygarde 100%. I have a couple Shaka Berries on my team, right? I think my game plan is going to try to not let the Zygarde beat me. Like, he can beat me. He can bend me over, like, hands down. His team is scary. But my main goal is to not let the Zygarde beat me. If I don't get swept by the, by the Zygarde, I'm going to count this as a win. Uh, I, I'm not going to have my, you know, my own team quite yet. My changes are not going to go into effect quite yet we're going to talk after this match and hopefully we'll get my team finalized but uh, i'm still rocking out with the team as drafted so i am gonna rock out with the charizard for one more week i still have the linoon on the roster not on the team uh this week but a lot of the team i do like it's just gonna be a matter of making the team my own kind of patching up some things that i don't feel terribly comfortable with but uh regardless I think I have a team here that can take on his. It's interesting because Austin drafted a team that's pretty darn close to something that I would have drafted. So many Pokemon that I personally love, like Necrozma, Primarina, Celesteela. I adore those Pokemon. Zygarde is fantastic. But we do see the Zygarde, Celesteela, Piloswine, Gengar, Aerodactyl, and Galvantula. So before anything else, I'm going to take that screenshot. And now we're here. Okay, so right off the bat, no Zorark is kind of wild to me. No Primarina is insane to me. No Primarina is insane to me. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, no Buzzwall. No Buzzwall is kind of huge. No Moongus. I can definitely see that. Uh, but regardless, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. What would I want to lead off with here? I could definitely see him wanting to lead off with the Galvantula. I could definitely want to see him wanting to lead off with the um, Piloswine. Honestly, it makes me want to lead off with the Exploud. But maybe it's too early for that. I really want to lead off with the Electros, but he has too good answers to that. I don't know. I guess I will lead off with the Exploud. I guess I will lead off with the X-Bloud. Hopefully, well, whoops. Hopefully I don't make too big mistakes with this dang um, item situation, but I guess I like my team. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me is afraid that I overprepared for the Zygarde, but at the same time, it looks like Zygarde is going to be his biggest threat. I did have to be concerned with a whole, a whole other set of threats like the Necrozma, like the Primarina, like the Buzzwole, but those didn't come, so maybe it'll work out in the end. I feel like I can deal with the Galvantula, the Aerodactyl, those types of things. Um, the thing that I think I would struggle with the most is probably the uh, Zygarde, which hopefully I can deal with. Yeah, this is pretty much the lead that I would have expected. He could be Focus Sash. I 100% expect him to try to get a Webs turn 1 or just switch out into a, a slightly more favorable matchup. He's not going to be able to do... Um, the type of stuff he was doing game uh, in his first week where he uh, disguised as a Zorark and clicked U-turn. But just out of interest, let's check out an Aerodactyl uh, calc here. No bulk Aerodactyl, still doing well over half. Celesteela. Um... Yeah, Celesteela is always going to be a switch in, which is super unfortunate. Maybe, mm. I really just want to click Boom Burst, though. I really do. This is assuming a max special defense um, Celesteela, though. I'm going to click Boom Burst, I think. I'm going to click Boom Burst, yeah. Let's go for the Thunder, and he avoids. Oof. Compound Eyes. I think that's, like, what, like a 91% accurate move with Compound Eyes? Uh, he's not going to be able to get any type of webs up all game. If he brings in the Cell Steel, I have to worry a lot about Autotomize, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I don't have to worry about that as much with the Charizard. I don't know. 
Oh no, I think regardless, Electros would be my play. Electros is kind of my dedicated answer, except I don't want it, that to be able to give him a free uh, Zygarde. I almost brought a third Chuckaberry on my Electros, but I didn't end up doing that. Maybe I should have, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to try to deal with it. If the Cell Sealer does come in, and then I think 100% I bring out the Electros, but instead this thing comes in. I don't know. What he, oh, what, what are these Pokemon? I just want to be sure that I know. I think one of them. Yeah, one of them was the Pylos one and the Cell Seal. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so Gengar's pretty scary. Is he trying to Focus Blast me? Is that the whole thing? Because you got to know that I'm scrappy. I should... Oh, fo Specs Focus Blast I don't take. But, uh, let's see. If he's not Specs... I should take Focus Blast if he's, if Focus Blast if he's not Specs. Oh, no. Am I not Specs? Am, am I... Sorry. Am I not, um... Am I not Scrappy? I am Scrappy. Okay. I just click Boom Burst. Like, I don't know, man. Does it go for the Focus Blast? Avoids the Focus Blast. And there's Boom Burst. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Cursed Body. Okay, Boom Burst is disabled. Maybe that was his play. I don't know, man. Um, Regardless, I think x -Blood has one last KO in him. As wild as that sounds, but... uh, Man, that's two 90%... Sorry, that's two 70% accurate moves. But one becomes 90%, I believe. Uh, I hope I'm correct about that, but I believe Compound Eyes makes uh, Thunder 91% accurate, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Focus Blast was always going to be tenuous, and regardless, I have a very good chance to take a Focus Blast. Assuming this is a Timid Gengar, um, Focus Blast has an 18% chance to Oko. If it's a Max Attack, Max Special Attack, Modest Gengar, let's keep that. Um, Modest Gengar has would have a 75% chance to Oko. Um, probably has to be, probably has to be timid for, I don't know. Does bring this thing in. Uh, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Just a turn ago. But yeah, I think 100% my play has to be to go into the Electros. Um, regardless of what this thing does, I think my hunt, my best play would have to be to click U-turn. Because I don't think this thing would want to stay in, even if it is, like, Toxics, Leech Seed, all this nonsense. I think being in with my Electros is not a play that he would want to make. And uh, he has a Zygarde potential. So, I think my play every time has to be to click U-Turn. Goes for the Heavy Slam. This is probably going to do a heck ton of damage, but we will resist. Yeah, that does do quite a bit of damage. That is a crit. Um, I don't think this thing can touch me too well. Electros. Cell Seal. Does it tell me anything about the Cell Seal? Is it an offensive Cell Seal? I guess is what I particularly want to know. I'm going to click U turn no matter what, but um, I'm going to give it plus one attack to simulate the crit. Uh, this has to be a reasonably offensive Cell Seal. Could this be a max attack Cell? It almost certainly should be. All right, because it did like what? 60 points of damage about 70 points of damage I think the only way he hits 70 points of damage if, is if he's max attack I think I don't know regardless I click u-turn every time oh I could click super fang I could click super fang I could click super fang I really want I'm gonna click super fang Should I? Maybe I just want to U-turn out. No, I'm going to click U-turn. I think he goes into Zygarde. Maybe Pyloswine? Hawk. I don't know what that is. Pyloswine. Okay. So now I can kind of decide what to do here. Pyloswine. Maybe I go into Charizard? No, Charizard doesn't do enough damage. Uh, 
Um, Explod almost does enough damage. I don't really have the best answers of this thing. I could go into Magirna. Hmm. I could go into Magirna. Let me see. Pile of Swine against my Charizard. I should take an Earthquake fine. Well, not fine, but I do should take an Earthquake. I don't really have a good answer to this thing. Um, I think, actually, Exploud has done his job, and Exploud can um, just get its last bit of use here with a Boom Burst. I really should have gone for the Super Fang, to be honest. And then... If I'd gone for the Super Fang, then I could freely go into the... Then I could freely go into the Charizard. Assuming he would go for the Rocks. Let's go for the EQ. So, for going the Rocks, even against my Charizard... Uh, even with my Charizard in the back, that is super interesting. Well, I'm just going to click Boom Burst again. Even if he goes back into the Cell Steela, goes for the Ice Shard to, to get some final damage off. He could be setting himself up for a... For a Celsius Beast Boost, but if he does that, I mean, if he does that, I have Celebi, I guess. At this point, Celebi, I don't think has to check um, Zygarde as much. I don't know. This is interesting. This is interesting. So, huh. Unless it's a max special defense, max HP, max special defense Zygarde, Ice Beam from a, from a Magirna should do it. Uh, Tentacruel is a lot more tenuous, but uh, it still does damage. Um, I could be in an interesting position if the Shuckaberry... If I'm in a position where I could let him pop Shuckaberry. Uh, let me also see... HP Ice on my Celebi. Yeah, that's pretty much the same as the Tentacruel situation. Does break out the Zygarde. Um, yeah, I... Unfortunately, I can't click um, Ice Beam, which would uh, pretty much do the thing, but clicking Boom Burst does almost just as well. I'm gonna just click Boom Burst. Goes, goes for the Dragon Dance. I think, I think overall, I should be okay with this. Wow, that does quite a bit of damage. There's the leftovers. Well, I guess, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna calc out Zygarde 100%. This thing is plus one. I don't even think this thing is max... Uh, HP or anything. So I have to give up Explod. That's fine, I guess. But, um... Yeah, man, this is rough. This is the testing time, man. I, I told myself I was not going to let Zygarde beat me. And, um... Zygarde might beat me. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen right now. I can only do so much against the dang 100% Zygarde. But I guess we'll just see. He does go for the Thousand Arrows. If I have to give this up, at least it doesn't give a free Beast Boost or anything like that. Now, let me think about what's going to take... Um... Magirna should take hits the best. Magirna should take hits the best. Tentacruel should also take a hit no matter what, I think. 
Charizard does not take a hit, and let's see, Outrage. Uh, Celebi should take an Outrage, but HP Ice does not do enough. The only thing that can take a hit and KO from this range outright is the Magearna. So I think it's going to be super obvious that I have the Ice Beam, but I think I have to go for the Ice Beam. I think I have to do this. I don't even think I'm in a position where I can, like, expect the um, Cell Seal to come in. Like, don't get me wrong. I think the Cell Seal is going to come in, like, 100%. Oh, just so stays in. That's super interesting. I should take this. I think I take this. Right? Yeah, we take it. And, uh, Ice Beam will take this thing out. And now it's down to the Pile of Swine and... Oh, Aerodactyl hasn't hit the field yet. Oh no, it's down to the Cell Seal and the Aerodactyl. Two things that Magearna can take out. Two things that, um... Two things that Electra should be able to handle, I think. But with the Soul Heart, um... I think I go down... I think I go down to both of them, but not one individually, if that makes sense. Basically, one of them is gonna have to EQ me. I think I take one EQ, but I'm not too, too sure about that. Maybe it's like a Bandit Aerodactyl or something, I don't know. But I do have Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt should uh, pretty much finish the match. Aerodactyl. Hmm. Actually, uh, well, this is Banded Aerodactyl, but, um, in non-boosting Aerodactyl, I have a chance at taking it. Goes into the Cell Steela. I mean, I am at plus one. I think I take a hit. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to see. It it's gonna be a roll whether or not I take an Earthquake. Celesteela. Yeah, I, I feel like I should take... Well, this is a max attack. Oh, Earthquake is going to be a roll, I think. A complete max roll... A complete max roll Earthquake from a Celesteela does 96 points of damage, and I'm at 95. Assuming it's, like, non-attack boosting. It's Adamant. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, fair enough. So, it's either Adamant or a crit. I'm gonna have to ask him after the match. I guess we're just gonna have to see. He gets the beast boost regardless. I could have gone into... I could have gone into... Uh, Electros on that play, I guess. But, I guess that's just the way that it goes. Let me see. Oh... What raise did it get? It got an attack raise. Okay. So, let me see here. I just have to click Thunderbolt in this situation. If anything, I, I should be able to put this thing in range where... Um... Charizard can come in and just Flare Blitz into this thing. Heavy, Sl Heavy Slam doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. I get the Thunderbolt off. We do over half. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, we saw how much the plus one Heavy Slam does. I don't think this thing has anything to hit me with. It, it's, we've seen Earthquake and Heavy Slam. I don't think it has anything else that can hit me particularly hard. Um, we will be able to 1v1 the Celesteela with the Electros. Thankfully, I thought that was going to be a crit. I, I saw how, fa how fast uh, the HP bar was moving, but uh, we will be able to take this thing out. Uh, that's a huge, huge threat that I had to be concerned about. But uh, I do also have a max defense um, tentacle in the back. So if I can get a Scald off 
with that, then that could be pretty huge. Oh, and actually, Aerodactyl's unnerved, which is unfortunate because my, um, my tentacruel is Shuckaberry. Alright, regardless, I collect Thunderbolt. I get taken out. It's gonna be fine. And then, I can probably... Hmm. The thing is, this, th this thing can absolutely beat the rest of my team. Um, but... I think I can at least get one good Scald off with Tentacruel. I should do a lot of damage. Maybe I get a... Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was so worried about the... About the, um... Uh, what's it called? The Primarina that I have Thunder Punch on my Charizard. Just for this type of situation. So, let me think here. Uh, yeah, I probably just go for the Scald. Maybe I get a Lucky Burn, um, if anything. I don't know. Although, a Burn would be pretty gross, considering, um, he's been missing 30% and then I hit the 30%, you know? Uh, between, like, Focus Blast missing and then I get 30% on a Burn or something. Uh, could this thing be choiced? Feeling this thing is choice. Maybe Scarf? Maybe to counteract, um... Maybe Scarf to counteract, like, Shift Gear? Or maybe to counteract Dragon Dance as well? Let me see. Stone Edge, Stone Edge. Let me see. Um... Yeah. I don't think this thing is boosting item at all. Because what? This thing did... Right around 90 points of damage. I think this thing is Adamant Scarf. I really think this thing is Adamant Scarf. And if it is locked into Stone Edge, then uh, I should... I should win this with another Scald. Yeah, I'm pretty positive this is Adamant Scarf. But that should... Uh, be the win. That's another 3-0 win. Uh, I'm super sorry. I don't know what to say about all those misses. Um, like I said, I did my best to try to make sure that the Zygarde didn't beat me. My x Blood was in a good position to just claim a whole bunch of lives. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. That's going to be week two. And um, Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon. We'll have another week of the PCL really, really soon. Ho hopefully, we will have a team that's more suited to me. And somehow, we got through this Zygarde 100%. And uh, Charizard didn't even have to hit the field. But like I said, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I'll be once again. <laughs>